Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you. It is a sort of um, matte smoky eye with a glitter liner, which I have not done before. And then I paired it with a really um, structured kind of face and a nice peachy nude lip, which is a little different also than what I usually do. Um, I'm using some new products that I haven't used before. I give a little first impression on the new Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. Um, so I can, you know, tell you guys my thoughts on that as well as the video is going. And again, yeah, I'm just using kind of products I haven't used before, um, stuff I haven't used in a really long time just so that it's a little bit different for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see how I got the look, then please stay tuned. So I'm going to start off with primer. This is the MAC 24 Hour Eye Base, the best eyeshadow primer ever. So for my under brow highlight, I always like to start there first, and I'm just going to use my um, under eye setting powder. This is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder in the color Pale Yellow. And I'm going to use that on this like fat brush. So next for my crease color, I'm actually going to take the bronzer in this palette because there's like dark browns, there's one light peachy brown, but there's not like a mid-tone brown. So I'm going to use this as the mid-tone brown because there's... You can use bronzer as um, eyeshadow if you want to, it doesn't really matter. They're all just kind of like pigment in a pressed version. So it all works the same. And I'm going to use the brush that comes in the palette to put this in my crease. And I really like to build up my crease color a lot. So I tend to layer it a bunch of times. And I want to go into my eyebrow this time with this look because I feel like it's going to end up being a pretty intense look. So next I'm going to go into the bigger part of the palette and I'm using this shade right here which is called Oat Chocolate or Hot Chocolate however you want to say it. And um, I'm going to use this to start darkening up the eye look. I want this eye look to be pretty dramatic. So that's why I'm going in with this really dark color and I'm going to start pressing it on the outer corner with a 242 brush from MAC. And then I'm going to take the shorter, stubbier end of this brush and it always wants to focus on my background. Ugh. And um, I'm going to start trying to blend this edge here. Go on with each side and sort of just start blending. I'm trying not to go so wing today. It's a little bit, um, but it's not intentional. I don't have a wing across the side of my face. I feel like people tend to get upset about that, and um, I don't. I don't understand because, like, I say it in all my videos. I, you know, whenever I'm doing a voiceover or whatever, I always say, you know, I'm doing this shape but like do what works for your eye shape. I could show you, you know, a million rounded eye shape eye looks, but they're not going to suit me and it's so it'll look weird on my particular eye shape. Um, and then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy with the, with the quality of the makeup I did. Um, so, you know, if you want to do a more rounded shape because you like that better, feel free to do so. Just take my video as, you know, a color inspiration for whatever look you're doing. But people will get, like, pretty upset and they want to, like, leave mean comments about it and it's kind of like, this is just, you know, ideas for you to take and kind of jump off of and create your own thing that works for you. I'm going to go back into the palette with the shade right next to that, which is called Black Velvet. It's just like a black. It's not like a really dark black, though. I think it's more, it seems to be more like a soft black. Um, and I'm going to try to build up some intensity in the outer corner. So for um, the glitter, I decided that I want to do like a glitter liner, 
with the antique gold glitter. So before I get to that, I'm just going to put a little bit of a light shadow in the inner corner um, to brighten it up a little bit in there. And I'm going to take this guy right here, focus. This is eggnog. It's like um, just like a light skin tone colored eyeshadow. It's a little bit on the yellow side. And I'm going to highlight my inner corner with that. And I'm wiping off the brush as I'm going. Once I feel like I have enough product on, that way again I can start blending with the same brush. So you want to put the product on until it's as saturated as you want it to be and wipe off your brush. And now there's a lot less product on my brush and I can go in and dab, dab, dab to blend it out and I don't have to bring in another blending brush. Okay, so now I have sort of this matte um, eye look fading from the dark blackish brown fading in, our crease is nice and blended, um, and then we have some nice brightness on the inner corner, all matte, and then we're going to kind of switch it up and make it a little different by adding a glitter eyeliner, and I'm going to do a wing liner with the glitter. So I'm using two things for this. I have a brush. This is the MAC 211 brush, which is like a thicker liner brush. Um, for now, I'm going to use this until I feel like I might need a thinner one, maybe for the end, um, because I want to be able to really pick up the glitter. And then I'm using this. This is MAC's Mixing Medium Eyeliner. So this is an eyeliner mixing medium. You can make your own eyeliners with any pigment you have. And then I'm using Reflex Antique Gold. This particular one is from a set, like Christmas set, but you can use just, you know, you can buy it on its own. It is still available. So I'm going to take some of the eyeliner mixing medium and put it on a little dish I have here and I'm going to create my winged liner with this and I'm going to wipe the brush off a little grab the glitter and press the glitter on this method is a lot easier than trying to mix the two together uh, first because then it'll, that will create a very like chunky mixture which will be a little harder to work with so I'm gonna take it more of this mixing medium to do the wing now and this is a little tricky because it's kind of like you're creating a wing but you can hardly see it you just see like a little bit of wetness so try to be um, as careful as possible when doing this so you know that your wing is going to look like it is like or like you want it to because if you mess up you won't really be able to tell until you put the glitter on pressing the glitter on and it'll only stick to those areas that I put the mixing medium I'm going to take a piece of paper and just sort of fan my face to get a good amount of wind going here to make sure I'm knocking off any excess glitter. And so next I'm going to put on some lashes. I'm using these today. I haven't used these yet and I got them a little while ago. The style is called Venus um, from the Mink brand Eyewear Lashes Company. And with these ones, um, they've got a really pretty wispy outer corner. And usually I would cut from that outer corner, um, but I really like the wispy ends and the front end is a little long for me of just like the short pieces so I'm actually going to cut from the front instead of the back for these lashes um, because I want to, I'd rather save the wispy outer edges than the inner corner. And before I put the lashes on I do want to put mascara on because you really shouldn't put mascara on mink eyelashes so I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes from the palette and I'm going to put a nice coat of mascara on, not too much. Just enough to where my lashes are all black. So when I'm using these lashes, I want to put just a very thin line of glue. I don't want too thick because I don't want a lot of buildup on these because they are nice mink eyelashes and you never want to get a lot of buildup on the mink ones because they can fall apart. So. I'm going to let this dry down a little bit and then apply these and I love using lash tweezers. These ones are from Ulta. 
I know a lot of companies make them. Mac makes them, Ulta makes them. I'm sure Sephora has them too. Pretty, I feel like all brands are starting to come out with these. Um, but these are so helpful in putting on uh, false eyelashes if you don't know how to already or you're having trouble because it makes it very easy to just sort of place them on your eye and it takes all the work out of it really. For glue, I'm using the Salon Perfect Lash Adhesive um, to apply these. And then we're just going to go ahead and apply these. I'll try to get a little closer so you can see a little better. And when I'm wearing mink lashes, I like to squeeze my natural lashes onto the mink eyelashes to help them blend. And then while they're still drying, I will play with the angle of the lashes to make sure they're how I like it. I am going to start off with some foundation. Now I'm using something new, so this is going to be a little bit of a uh, first impression. This is the Maybelline Matte, is it Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation for Normal to Oily Skin. It says it mattifies and refines pores, matches natural tone, natural seamless finish. Um, from what I can tell, it's like a medium coverage is what I have been told. So. We're going to give this a shot. The color I'm using is 128 Warm Nude, which is more of a yellow undertoned, medium tone foundation. This would be similar to NC30 in MAC. So for this, I'm going to use a newer brush I've recently got. I went to New Jersey and um, at this one mall in New Jersey near where my parents live, there is a e.l.f. freestanding store, which is cool. It's like the coolest thing I've ever heard of. And I got this brush, and it's like a buffing brush, a big buffing brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's one of the $6 brushes. So I'm going to put this all over. From what I can tell, just starting to put it on, it's much thinner than the foundations that I'm used to. I'm used to things like Studio Fix Fluid um, from MAC or like the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour um, foundation which are much like thicker consistency but not in a bad way like I never feel like Studio Fix Fluid or that Infallible is too thick for me but this is definitely thinner and my skin's been feeling a little like dry or something lately so I've been trying not to buff as much as like dab it in because when I start to like do circles, it will kind of pull up any texture I might have, and make it look more dry. So just dabbing. So the coverage is definitely a medium to full. And the finish is definitely very matte. Um, my pores do look a little more softened. They don't stand out as much. And then for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal just because I'm already using Maybelline. I figured I would continue. And this is the color Light number two. So this isn't the lightest one. Use this brush. Oops. Use this brush. It's a Sigma. F86, any kind of tapered brush like this will work. Next, I'm going to set my under eye area using this Sedona Lace Lux Essentials brush number five from the Lux Essentials set. Just a little tiny one with this Bobbi Brown powder, which is the best under eye setting powder. One of the best. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my tried and true favoritist face powder. It is Studio Fix Powder from MAC in the color NC30. And I'm gonna use a big powder brush to apply this. As I always say, I don't apply too much of this. You don't need to, because it's such full coverage and it's nice and matte, so it's gonna go with the foundation really well. But this kind of just boosts your coverage a little bit. 
and I feel like my makeup stays on longer when I use this on top. So next I'm using Uninterrupted Eyeshadow from MAC um, to contour and bronze. This is discontinued, but you can use like, um, I know Bobbi Brown has the exact same color. I think it's called Camel Eyeshadow, if I'm not mistaken, but it's the exact same color as Uninterrupted. They have one. It's just a very like orangey brown. I believe Makeup Geek recently came out with a color like this. For blush, I'm going to use Prism by MAC. It's a very, very subtle, pinky brown, very, very, very light kind of color. So it's one of those blushes where, you know, you want to wear blush because you feel comfortable having a little color on your face, but you really don't want it to stand out too much. This is a perfect blush. So as you can see, it gave me a little color and a little rosiness but it's still almost like undetectable. Like it's, you can't tell a difference between um, my bronzer and the blush and then it kind of just blends into the skin so it just looks like it's part of the skin. It looks like it's just there. To highlight, I'm going to use my baby doll, the one of the best highlighters out there. And it is the new Oh Darling from the um, new MAC uh, holiday collection. We sold out of this really quick. It is just the most like stunning highlighter ever. It is a in extra dimension highlighter. So it's in the same family as like Whisper of Guilt. Except this one is way more pigmented. As you can see that's like crazy. Way more pigmented and it's a little more of like a gold than Whisper of Guilt was. Whisper of Guilt was gold but it was a little more like whitish. Whereas this one is like straight up gold. And it is stunning. Um, if you don't have this, the closest thing to this is Champagne Pop. But Champagne Pop is just a little less gold than this guy is. So I'm putting that on my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, down kind of the center here. And then just very lightly whatever's left, I kind of go like this. And as you can see, that gives my forehead a nice glow but it's not over the top. I'm going to take a 219 with the oat or hot chocolate color and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I kind of start over here and then once I get about halfway I end up kind of just like fading it out. I don't necessarily want it really dark on the inner corner going to line my waterline with my favorite eyeliner. This is Smolder by MAC. So then I'm going to take more of the Tarte Mascara for the bottom lashes. Okay, and now for my eyebrows to finish the look before I do my lip, I'm going to use um, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this is the color Blonde. Okay, so for my lip, I used Boldly Bare Lip Pencil from MAC, more of like a peachy nude. And then I took the Wet n Wild Fergie Lipstick in the color Fergie Daily, which is still available. And I put that over top just to make a really pretty, like, light peachy, pinky nude kind of color. And then I'm going to put a little gloss on top. This is Max Lip Glass in the color Oyster Girl, which is kind of like a pretty light, iridescent, like, opaly kind of lip gloss color. to add some nice shine and make my lips look a little fuller and it kind of goes with like the highlight and the blush color and all that jazz. Alrighty guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave any comments below, any requests you might have, any questions, and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as I can. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.